Welcome to our next bathroom remodel. We're actually in the middle of demoing it <laughs> and it's actually well already been done but we're going to show it to you anyway because it's going to be a really cool change out for this guest bathroom it is a full bath and i'll show you what we're going to do so let's just go on in here and take a look at this and you'll see the guys have ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, like two and a half hours of demo work for these guys. They are so great. I just love them. Um, so what we're doing here, this had a tub and shower unit in it, but we're actually just going to make a standing shower unit. So we're going to put a three inch curb in here, put some nice barn style um, oil rub bronze doors in here, and then also um, raise this head because <laughs> look at this head. Now I'm only five foot four. I got my heels on. Okay. I look all cute and fun, but look where that head is and look where my head is it's like so we're raising it up at least 12 inches up here and then of course this is a what's called a valve right here this valve handle will be at where the height it's supposed to be for you just to turn that off and on so um it's getting a beautiful tile on it as well as this uh, niche the shampoo niche will be built in today as well so um, that's going to be really nice changing out the toilet putting in a really cool um, vanity and then we're going to put LVP 100% waterproof LVP flooring in here and we're taking that flooring on out to that hallway right there because that hallway right now is golden oak and we all know that that is passe it is elgano no good no bueno no whatever you want to say so <laughs> it's just not right and so we are um, going to put in some new really nice nine inch wide LVP wood plank um, it's going to match come very close to what she's got downstairs uh, so anyway we're super excited about it um, we're gonna run some electrical actually over here for a really cool um, round mirror 32 inch round mirror that will be lit and have a defogger on it we're also gonna move that over there <laughs> the sinks right here the lights over here we don't know why so we're just gonna move it on over and we're also adding an extra light in here with a new vent light um, fan for them uh, that'll work way better because listen to this <laughs> that <was> like, <laughs> take off <laughs> please put your seats and trays in an upright position as we take off so uh, that is why we are removing that and putting a new one in so anyway um, stay tuned for this one this is the small one this is the one we're starting with we'll be done with this in about mm, a week and a half um, so super fast turnaround for us here at Designing Women of Orange County. My name is Sabrina Phillips. I'm an interior designer and general contractor for said company. So follow us on YouTube here. Um, if you like what we've got here, um, you'll really love our tips, tricks, and trends of what's happening in the world and how to get beyond um, issues that sometimes do crop up when you take walls apart and out and floors up and stuff like that fortunately here we don't have any problems so we're very excited about that but do follow us here on youtube or any other social media channel you can find us at designs i n o c and you can also call us directly at our phone number is 949-371-9075 and just remember with us it's your home and your life your style so it's all about you so thanks so much for watching and we'll show you the next bathroom Hello and welcome to our next master bathroom remodel. We're here in Aliso Viejo, California. My name is Sabrina Phillips. I'm an ASID interior designer and general contractor for Designing Women of Orange County. And I'm super excited to show you this before video of this bathroom. We're gonna do a lot of really phenomenal things and there's gonna really take some major shape changing transformations in here in this bathroom. So just to start off with, <laughs> you can kind of see just take a pan of this area right here where the tub is and this shower unit is and I'll step back into the picture here and back literally into the bathtub um, because what we're going to do is taking obviously all of this out this is going to become a wet area a very large wet area we're actually going to come all the way over to right where this wall kind of bends back in and turns back into the other wall so a 60 inches across if that gives you a good idea. We're gonna come all the way across this floor line. I and mean, this is all going to be tiled from here all the way around and all the way up. We're only putting a glass wall right in here. Nice because you can just walk right in, come over here, 
have her controls over here. Shower head will still be there, but raised. And she'll turn it on over here and um, let that water get warm. We'll put a shampoo niche in here for her, which will be super nice. But the whole area is going to be open. And then here, we're gonna do something a little different. Because this bathroom is a little bit smaller in this width here, we're actually going to get a 59 inch um, freestanding tub. And we're gonna put it straight up against this wall. And this is gonna be a really cool look because we're actually going to have the um, plumbing and the uh, fixtures come straight out of the wall as a tub filler. Normally we do a floor based tub filler that comes up and over that freestanding tub but this time we're actually going to go right from the wall space here and come out and it'll look really really cool. Um, we are shortening this up here about that much. She said, I don't need that much. We can still very easily get uh, two sinks in here at 102 inch wide vanity. We're really um, making a bunch of changes here and giving her a lot more storage, taking out what we'll show you in a moment here is the uh, little bench area for what we used to use for our makeup area and we don't do that anymore. Us girls just stand here and put our makeup on or we do it in the car, <laughs> don't judge us. And so anyway, um, so we're gonna give her a bunch more storage here in the center. And as a matter of fact, part of that storage, um, you know, you, I, you can probably tell this is a pretty short um, vanity right now. So we're gonna raise it up to the standard height now. And we're also going to give her a um, tower in the center here for even more storage. So pull out drawers, some electrical in here, um, so she can store her curling iron or hair dryer or whatever, keep it plugged in and then just put it right back. So that'll be really nice. Um, and then as we go around here to, to this area here, this is a closet, which we will show you in a moment. <laughs> um, we are changing this door out to a full uh, shaker, single panel shaker door. And we'll also put a, a beveled mirror on this side of it so she'll have full mirror. Now it looks like she's got plenty of mirror, right? I forgot to tell you that whole big mirror is coming off and we're putting in one of my favorite, favorite, favorite items. One of my favorite items is the medicine cabinet that I have found. It's a lit recessed medicine cabinet. It's lit all the way around the back edge of it. So it gives this glow. It's a really nice night light. It also has um, three temperature gauge type things. You can do a bright white, a soft white, so on and so forth. And it has a defogger on it. And then the whole inside is mirrored and it has a magnifying glass inside built in. It's totally cool. I love it. It is like my pick, my pick, my pick of all picks that I've ever done, I think, in bathroom redesign. So that's what's going in here. So she'll have um, a 24 by 36 here and one over there over the other sink. Um, and then in here we have a little water closet. The space feels tight in here. So what we're doing is we're pulling out this door here. That door. Oh. Holy cow bells. Okay, so we're pulling that door out and we're putting in a frosted glass pocket door. A lot less moving in and out of the room and I don't know, it just, it just feels so tight and clunky in here. And then of course we'll replace her toilet and we're gonna have a customized um, cabinet go in. If you can see this wall space here, um, I'll have to take a couple shots of this, but this wall space angles in and there's a cabinet inside of here, but it's only this tall. So we're gonna add upper cabinetry to that to give her some more storage, linen closet, you know, stuff like that. So, um, so that'll look really nice. So I really want you to stay tuned for that next um, after um, video of this. We'll be doing this. We'll be starting this project in about um, three weeks or so. I'll give you a little sneak peek of the closet we just finished up. And we're going to do a separate video on this here, but we'll show you more here in just one moment. So we didn't do a before video of this closet, but I do have before pictures that you'll see throughout this uh, little video that you're going to watch here. My name is Sabrina Phillips. I own the company called Designing Women of Orange County. I'm an interior designer as well as a general contractor. And one of my favorite things to do is to organize and especially tight spaces, spatial arranging. And this was a tight space, as you'll see in some of the photos that will crop up here along with this video. But we really utilize this space very well for her by giving her double hanging space here, 
It actually gave her more space than what she had before for the shorter hanging items. And then we gave her this area here. This she's planning on using, I think, for sweaters and stuff she wants to fold and um, unless she did it all in here. She might have done it all in here. So these are great, um, really nice, easy sliding, easy glide doors, drawers rather. Um, so that's super nice. And then over here, um, I'll let you get in here. We have long hanging here and then we have shoe, shoe, shoes. Lots of shoes, because us girls have lots of shoes. <laughs> so. <laughs> but as you see those befores, you'll be like, oh yeah. That's way better, way better, way better. So uh, if you have a closet that you would like to have done or even a garage or a pantry or anything like that, you know who to call. Designing Women here of Orange County at 949-371-9075. Follow us for more tips, tricks, and trends on what's coming up and what we're currently doing. Thanks for watching.